Hello and welcome from uh, Florida in the United States. Uh, my name is Jeremy Thompson, this is my wife Karen. And uh, we're going to talk to you uh, and give you a few minutes about our testimony, how we became uh, missionaries for Hellenic Ministries and how we are uh, getting ready to go to Greece full time to serve the Lord there. We had been believers for about 30 years. Um, we were living in Connecticut, we have three kids. And at the time our eldest was about 15, Sophie, um, was diagnosed with depression, including suicidal thoughts, um, and then a couple months later decided to tell us that she'd become a lesbian. And this was a challenging time for us. We were praying through it like crazy. We suspected that this was largely spiritual, but we didn't really know what to do about it. We didn't understand the spiritual side of the kingdom that much. Um, we uh, prayed a lot. And one of the things we prayed was to actually leave Connecticut and move somewhere else um, to get her out of that environment, thinking that might help. And the Lord did provide another job for Jeremy in Florida, which we were thrilled about. Um, I came down a couple weeks uh, ahead of the move to find a place for us to rent, couldn't find anything. And after about five days, finally a house opened up and we got that house, which was great. Um, we came to find out after we moved in that our next door neighbors had been praying for a Christian couple to move into the house. Um, and these neighbors, the, the wife's name is Nicole, had had a dream ahead of time that she was going to help a girl see who was from Asia but not Asian. And Sophie was born in Singapore and she's clearly not Asian. <laughs> um, so Nicole decided that this really meant that she would uh, mentor Sophie, which she did, and it was wonderful. Sophie spent hours over at Nicole's house, and they poured into the Word, they prayed, and Sophie was healed overnight of depression, and then a couple months later um, decided she wasn't going to be a lesbian after all. And we were thrilled. We, we just saw this amazing miracle happen in our daughter that Amen. the Lord did. You know, yes. only Jesus can bring a transformation like that, somebody from, from death to life. And then at that point, we started praying, you know, Lord, we are so grateful to you. What do you have next for us? Because Jeremy and I have been in the business world for over 25 years each. Um, did he want us to continue doing that? Or maybe he might want us at this phase in our life to do something else for him. Uh, missionary work or a new ministry or take over an existing ministry. We were praying through, you know, Ephesians 1 and Colossians 1 about understanding his will for us. Um, and this went on for a few months, um, and then one morning in my quiet time, I heard the Lord say audibly to me, I'm calling you to Athens. And we were really pretty excited about this, um, and we asked for confirmation, and we got confirmations from a number of other believers um, in various ways, and it was really wonderful. Um, Nicole came over um, a few days later and said that she had had a dream about our family moving, and in the dream, we were having a party that was in our garage and it was decorated in the jungle theme. And we were pretty confused because we thought, what does the jungle have to do with Athens? Um, but anyway, we, we carried on and we started investigating what was going on in Athens. And so I, at one point, decided to do a Google search of ministries in Athens. And Hellenic Ministries came up and I clicked on the page that said history. And the first thing that came up at the top of that page was a picture of a man in the jungle and the word jungle about this big at the top of the page in red font. And I couldn't believe it. It was amazing yes, to me. A confirmation. And it was a real confirmation <laughs> that not only were we going to Athens, but we were going with Hellenic Ministries. So through this series of, of interconnected miracles, we were just, were just amazed. And we, I was just reminded of that verse that says, in 1 Corinthians 2, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind conceived what God has planned um, for those who love him. And we right. would have never believed it if, if we had known yeah. that, you know, yeah. years before. But, but God is so good. He is. And then God began a period of training for us. He's taken us so much closer to himself and blessed us in many ways, such as making ends, ends meet with only one income instead of two. Uh, we now have many journals filled with new insights and blessings from him. I mean, Jesus says, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. And we are now blessed with hearing God's voice most mornings and throughout the day. And so uh, please pray for us as we prepare to go on the missions field full time. And thank you. And many blessings to you in Auckland.